Workers who actually handle pesticides need to understand the importance of protective clothing and equipment. This equipment will vary depending on the pesticide, its concentration, and the way the worker is going to handle it. Concentrated pesticide is the pesticide as it comes from the container. This is the most toxic form of the material, and therefore mixers and loaders must be especially careful to avoid contamination. If you work with concentrated pesticides, take all of the precautionary measures and use all of the protective equipment indicated on the label. A pesticide becomes less poisonous once it is diluted with water. Nevertheless, it is still capable of poisoning a person, so pesticide applicators and flaggers must use the protective equipment appropriate to their jobs. Protective equipment can include face shields, rubber gloves and boots, overalls, and a waterproof hat or hood. The gloves and boots should be made of rubber or waterproof plastic because other materials such as canvas, cloth, and leather can absorb the pesticide and hold it against the skin, thus increasing the exposure period rather than providing protection. Gloves with an absorbent lining, such as the one seen here on the left, should be avoided for the same reason. Check your gloves for leaks before putting them on. Gloves with holes are useless and must be replaced. If you're making a ground application, make sure your gloves are inside your sleeves so that runoff from the spray can't get inside the gloves and contaminate your hands. But for overhead spraying, keep the gloves over the sleeves to avoid arm contamination. Pant legs should be outside the boots so that the pesticides can't get on your feet. Goggles or a face shield should always be used when the possibility of eye contamination exists. If there is a danger of breathing pesticide vapors or dust, wear a respirator. Most respirators have replaceable cartridge type filters. These should be replaced after eight hours of use or sooner if you begin to smell the pesticide while wearing the respirator. Facial hair, such as sideburns and beards, do not permit the respirator to form an adequate seal against the face. So those who use respirators must be clean shaven.